Good morning YouTube, I have just landed in Boise. I'm here. It is freezing. There's no two ways about it. It's so cold here. It's, look at me, I'm, I'm all rugged up in my brand new bodybuilding.com hoodie. And my beanie, I look like a little bit of a thug. But I'm okay with that because it's gonna keep me warm and I need to be warm. I have a seriously big thing about being cold. I can't stand it. Very nice of bodybuilding.com to hook me up with a full bag of kit. It was waiting for me in my room when I arrived. So today, just checking in the hotel, I've got the rest of the day to myself. We're gonna meet up with some of the other contestants later this afternoon. I think we might even see if we can get a bit of a team session in or uh, maybe even just some cardio together ahead of shooting tomorrow. So in the meantime, I've got a few things to go get done. I have to go and get a wax and then I'm gonna get a tan tonight uh, as well. I guess somewhere in between that I'll probably get to Whole Foods as well because I need to uh, make sure I've got some reasonable food to be able to hit my macros with over the next couple of days. Waxing my legs is never the most enjoyable thing. I'm sure you girls can relate. Guys, if you haven't tried it before, it uh, doesn't come highly recommended, um, but it does beat the whole regrowth thing if you've ever shaved your legs. That sucks. It's like actually the worst thing ever, which is why I'm never gonna do it again. It's always gonna be a wax. So I'm hoping that um, because we're in America, it's gonna take half as much time because just seems that everything's faster and bigger and better over here. So I'm gonna go get that done and then uh, I think I'll uh, check in with you guys in a tick. I didn't know that I could want you so deep until I saw you with someone who's not me. It is legitimately freezing. Just check my Snapchat filter at minus three. That's disappointing, you can't see it, but I'm blowing steam. Okay, so the moment of truth, you know, my new friend Michelle do her thing, and hopefully I'm gonna look somewhat presentable by the end of this. Probably about to see a whole bunch of jumping on the video, so be prepared. It's not a little shaky, maybe. I've come to the conclusion that there's really no good part about getting your legs done. Like, pretty much every part is just painful. Alright, so we're just approaching the two hour mark now, and we are almost there. <laughs> so thankfully that's over. I'm gonna hit Whole Foods now, stock up for the next few days, and uh... I don't know if you can see that, but get out of this snow. God, I love Whole Foods. I could spend hours at this place. So I'll quickly take you through what I've got. It's fairly boring, unfortunately. Just because I've got to be pretty tight the next few days. So a couple of punnets of chicken, with some eggs, some rice and some veggies. And here we've just got a few different kinds of salads, just so I can mix them all together. Got my scales at home. Uh, as well as some mixed fruit to go with some yogurt for my breakfast. As I say, a bit boring, but what it's going to mean is that I can control things as best as possible over the next couple of days while we shoot and get prepared for the stage. What's up, team? Just got my tan done. Feeling okay? Because tomorrow we are going to be shooting at Bodybuilding.com headquarters, which is pretty cool because. I've never been there and I've heard that it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. It's a wicked looking gym. And we're gonna get some, uh, you know, basically what we came here for. So, I'm gonna have, go have some dinner. It's a bit tricky with hitting macros whilst traveling. Obviously I've crossed the time zone. I've had 14 hours on a flight. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is essentially lower my carbs ever so slightly the day that I travel and the day after. Because essentially it's, it's a day and a half rather than two full days. And what I'm going to do before I shoot tomorrow is just have some extra sugar on hand just in case I'm looking a bit flat as a consequence of dropping my carbs um, just so I can, I can get a, a more full looking appearance whilst we're shooting. So I showed you guys earlier the foods that I've got. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to hit about 300 grams of chicken breast because I haven't done a lot of eating today. I've been running around back and forth trying to get my legs done and my, 
my tan sorted and uh, got a quick session at the gym before where I ran into Jordan and a couple of the girls who are already here. I think everyone else is getting in late tonight and we're all scheduled to meet up tomorrow morning um, out at the lobby to get taken via the limo to bodybuilding.com headquarters. I'm gonna actually not eat any vegetables tonight because what I wanna do is keep my fiber as low as possible. Essentially, I don't want any food to be sitting around in my stomach for any longer than it has to be. I wanna be able to make sure that when I flex tomorrow in the shoot, I'm looking as dry and as hard as possible rather than feeling bloated and as if I haven't yet digested my meal from the night before. But other than that, that's me for the night. Good morning. It's about uh, 7.30. I have woken up late this morning, jet lag, you beauty. Room is so dark that I uh, not only managed to miss my alarm, but obviously couldn't wake up for two hours afterwards as well. So I'm gonna get some very quick cardio this morning just to tighten up, then breaky. All right, got through my 12 minutes of cardio. I'm gonna head downstairs for breakfast, see if I can get low fiber, high carb, high sodium for the shoot. Pack some food for later on in the day. All right, so did not run into anyone at breakfast. It was absolutely dead quiet, but I ran into one of the most friendly ladies I've met on my trip so far, and she has hooked me up a couple of egg white omelets with a whole bunch of toast for later on in the day and for right now. I need to go and jump in the shower. I'm a little bit sticky after my huge marathon 12 minutes of cardio. So I've got about, I think, 30 minutes before I need to be downstairs and meeting the rest of the guys. With uh, in time for our limo to bodywind.com headquarters, which is going to be exciting. What's going on, team? <laughs> How you doing? Good man. I'm Dan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Hey. You too. How are you, man? Hey, what's up, dude? Nice, nice to meet you. How you doing? So down in the lobby, and the rest of the team is all here. <laughs> Everybody is actually too busy vlogging to say hello, I but everyone's here. Hi. <laughs> We're about to head to Bodywood.com headquarters for the first time. None of us in here actually train, we all just film our lives. There is more vlogging going on than anything else in here. Everyone is a vlog, we are at Bodybuilding.com headquarters. Yeah! There are generally more cameras than people in here. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna brave this weather again. How's that for a bit of weather? It is actually snowing. We're here. I'm Keith. I'm gonna help you here with Dean, my man Dean over here. We're gonna give you a little tour, kind of walk you through and get the day started. But first, we were hoping you'd take a minute and sign our commitment wall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what I need right here every time I train. I know. <laughs> Just every time I train for these guys to fly me around. Yeah, let's, let's rock it. Okay. What's going on? How are you doing? Good. <laughs> so, um, we actually have two people on my team that really wanted to meet Nick real quick. So, they were actually going to want to meet all of you guys, but they follow you on Instagram, I think. That's cool. Would it be alright if I grab them real quick? Of course. Quick? Yeah, absolutely. Aww. That's so tight. That's cool. <laughs> That done the same thing. The first cool thing is our pay field station. So brands will um, wow. sponsor a pre workout, an intro workout, and a post workout uh, each month. When we first met Juan, and Jesse is going to be one of the MCs at the finals on Saturday. So she'll be there. She's the best. Oh, what? Uh, if you want anything from in here, just let one of us know. We'll be taking care of just sipping on some aminos that are on tap, basically. The Bodybuilding.com headquarters is pretty much everything that you would imagine it to be. There is an enormous, awesome gym, squat racks, deadlifting platforms, dumbbells up to 150 pounds, which is like 70 kilos for you guys back in Oz. You know, it's, uh, you know, we're in the cafeteria right now, there's protein shakes, there's pre-made meals everywhere, there's like a full fridge and section full of food with obviously things that are super convenient to fit into your macros. There are transformation photos everywhere. We got to sign the commitment wall a little bit earlier on. This place is pretty surreal. It's uh, 
it's definitely the home of bodybuilding. How good. So one of the advantages of being at bodybuilding.com, which is obviously the headquarters of all things bodybuilding and supplements, is that we finally get to try the brand new Owen Cake Bites. Where's the birthday cake one up? Here it is. <laughs> this is. This is where it's at. Mm. So good. That's just, that's a cake. Absolutely. <laughs> it's surreal to be here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I really like your stuff that you post on the internet. Thank you very it's much, very uh, transparent. Thank you. You know, it's uh, and very simple too. I appreciate that. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. Can and I get I, a picture? Of course you can. Flex. Sorry, I'm trying to like. Oh. <laughs> Last minute preparations? Yeah, it's a little touch up. Just now, playing around. So I just had my interview with the bodybuilding.com panel. Basically just whole, uh, asked a whole bunch of questions as to how I got in the industry, all that sort of stuff. Why do I want to be the, uh, the finalist? All those sorts of things. And now it is time to eat. Teriyaki chicken and rice with the sauce on the side, which of course is going to be eaten because carbs. <laughs> Got to get on a treadmill and they're all taken already. Okay, so the group interviews are now done. We are moving on to the money section of today. So we're gonna go and get a photo shoot done. We need to get about 10 minutes now. Today, I am sick. As you can see in the background, Brian is doing his thing. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is get a ruthless pump going. So we're nice and full for those photos. So because I've only got about probably 40 to 50 minutes, we're running a bit late, so we have to push things through. 40 to 50 minutes, I'm going to try and get as much blood into the muscle as possible. So I'm starting off with some incline bench simply because I feel a really good squeeze and contraction, huge range of motion, supersetting out with some chins. My focus will be on chest and back predominantly with a little bit of shoulders to finish off simply because that's when I feel my most confident. When you're in front of a camera lens, you want to be feeling as confident as you possibly can so you can rock that camera and make those shots look as natural as possible. So I'm going to hit incline bench with chins for the most part. Might see if I can get some dumbbell presses going as well. Maybe even finish off with some curls, depending on how much of a shoulder pump I get. I don't want to make them overbalance my, I don't want to make my arms overbalance my shoulders at all. So this is the sort of stuff that we're going to be getting. You're a sexy man, Brian. emphasis for the most part is on high reps. Not a lot of weight, we just want to get those muscles moving, get as much blood in there as possible. So for the bench, 20 reps. Gonna hit some flies, 20 reps. Chins again, six, six to 10 on the higher end of the spectrum if you can. We want to get a pump. We're not necessarily worried about training volume for now. We just want to make sure we're as good as possible in front of the camera. Now a cheeky little mid-session pump watch. We're getting there. All right, so pretty reasonable pump on. Looks like it's my turn. That was the worst. <laughs> All right, so just got back in the room. Day one is done and dusted. We have shot photos. We have been interviewed extensively. 
and I've made a bunch of new friends. The guys here are all really, really awesome. Tonight, we're actually going to head out and do a hockey game, an ice hockey game. I've never been to one, so I'm pretty pumped for that. But in the interest of getting this video out on time, you guys are going to have to tune in tomorrow to see how the ice hockey game goes. So for today, I am out. I'm off to dinner and an ice hockey game later on tonight. Tomorrow, we've got more filming on the cards. I'm pretty sure we're getting uh, some video stuff taken. So I'm going to try and give you guys a bit of an insight into how that goes. Uh, I'll run you through the food for the next couple of days in that next video as well and see if I can get a few of the other guys and girls here uh, to feature in, uh, in tomorrow's video. So guys, if you've got any questions, please throw them down below. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the rest of the LA and Boise bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search vlog series. Thanks guys.